If you go on YouTube and scroll down through all these perks for Theme Park Tycoon 2, you see all these amazing and detailed perks, and you honestly just don't know how to build those perks. This video is going to tell you what main things you should use to turn from a noob into a pro. Alright, so number one is going to be using Advanced Editor when building your ride. And if you use Advanced Editor, your coaster will be so much better. I'm going to show you right here. Using just Basic Editor like this will not help you build some good coasters because your coaster will not be smooth and it will honestly just not be as good as it can be if you just use this Basic Editor. And so what I suggest you use is Advanced Editor. So right here, go to Advanced Editor when you are building your coasters. This does not require any game passes whatsoever. And then you can just use all these knobs and stuff to change the coaster track. And now there's even a new update where you can make your coaster extra smooth so now you can kind of do this and then just make your coaster a lot more unique and a lot more realistic our chain lift right here and it can be as high and low as we want we don't have to use the one that it says on the basic editor i would suggest you learn how to do it if you don't know how to you can search up some tutorials for how to do this kind of thing all right so next up we have use precision mode if you don't use precision mode it's a lot harder to make more detailed things so to get into precision mode you get any kind of thing so i'm going to get this primitive right here and then i'm going to go to picker hold shift and press on the thing you want to go in precision mode with like this you can build really really detailed things you can come into snapping settings and change it to no snapping or any kind of custom snapping and this will help you to make way more detailed things for example right here i'm just building some rocks rocks so next up try to be detailed in your parks so here is an example of how to be detailed right here if you were to build like a little house we'll grab this wall and just build like a little house like this with some kind of building that you would usually see in a theme park and if you just build this building up and you don't put any detail on top of it it will not look good whatsoever so what you want to do is try to put as much detail into your buildings into your coasters as you can to make it way more interesting and way more pleasing to kind of look at and it will make your park look a lot more professional i'm gonna add my roof like this i'm gonna add these right here all right so now that i have that done what you want to do is add a lot of detail so something that can add to that is using certain kind of textures for example you can use kind of the wood planks texture and just change it to like a wood color like this and it will make it look like it has a lot more detail you can also add a lot of things to your buildings so make sure it's not all plain like this that you come in here and search up for poles and make sure to add a lot of these poles because they will make your buildings a lot better so right here i'm going to add some poles on all these kind of edges and like the middle right there adding poles like this and if you want it to look even better you can even search for windows and it will make your park look a lot more detailed i'm going to use these windows right here and then i'm also going to go into half snapping and then right here you can just make way more detailed buildings if you use windows and these kind of things also what i suggest if you have a building like this make the bottom row a different color so right here i'm going to make this bottom row right now this whole building is this color i'm going to change it to a darker color like this and it'll make your buildings look a lot better and a lot more textured so have a variety of colors and try to have poles and nice roofs like this and use textures like wooden planks or just like rock or something and it will make your buildings look a lot more detailed than it would without it next up we've got is use water usually people just build their giant parks and then they don't use water and it doesn't look good or they use water wrong i'm going to show you how to use water the right way so you go here to block manipulation and you remove all of the air for wherever you want your water i'm gonna have my water be a little far back over here and so i'm gonna have this little river coming over to this side like this just like that right there and then i'm gonna add my water onto this right here some people just don't make it like curvy like this and they just make it straight what you can do to add even more detail is add some of these rocks go to no snapping and then go to rotation snapping and go to the lowest one press the rotate button while you hold shift and it will just make it so you can place a lot of rocks over here make sure they don't glitch by making it go up and down more and it will make your river look a lot more realistic and so much more detail already you can tell this river is looking a lot better so make sure to just rotate go down a little bit press rotate go up a little bit press rotate go down a little bit press so right there this river looks a lot better and also you can add lily pads you can just add these lily pads onto the river and it'll make it look a lot better and a lot more realistic overall okay so the last thing is using terrain a lot of parks don't even use terrain at all and i suggest you do because it makes it look a lot better and it's really not that hard it's just time consuming so right here i'm gonna make a little mountain i'm just gonna lift it up make your base of your mountain but first you want to go to paint terrain and paint it whatever you want i'm gonna paint mine rock like this 
this and what you want to do is raise all the blocks to where you want your mountain to be using edit terrain height right here and now that i have this kind of structure you can smooth it out by lifting some of the sides like this and this little edge i'll lift up to make sure i don't have really steep cliffs that look not smooth at all if you want to go even more detailed with your mountains you can use this rock technique that i showed you over here and just place or rocks if you want it to be quick you can just place them just randomly like this and it'll make your park look a lot more detailed already so you can see the rocks add a lot of detail but it's also cool if you want it to just be smooth like this so either way it'll make you look a lot better at theme park tycoon 2 and it'll improve your parks a lot that's actually going to be it for this entire video if you liked it go down and leave a like if you like this kind of content go make sure to smash the subscribe button here's some content that you might also like watching thanks for watching and see you guys next time